Hi engineering janta I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we'll be understanding the preparation plan for TCS code beta The reason I am bringing this video out is a lot of students were confused that sir we don't have a proper idea of how many rounds are there how many questions are there because it is vaguely written on the website that clear the rounds and then go forward so we don't know what kind of rounds are there so to clear all that fog to actually tell you that how exactly you can move about in your preparation how exactly you can track your progress i'm here to deliver you this preparation plan this would actually save a lot of your time along with that it would provide you some resources that are super beneficial for you fine so before i go ahead first of all go ahead and follow me on this instagram handle which is abhiraj shukla ji speaks here you can directly connect to me fine now if i move forward as i always do i give you the skeleton of any exam or any contest that you are going to appear for fine it's been a regular pattern from my side i always discuss the skeleton or the pattern of the exam fine so this is the general skeleton of the exam round 1 round 2 and round 3 there are three rounds generally generally there are three rounds in code vita in which round 1 is the preliminary round round 2 is the intermediate round and round 3 is the grand finale round or the finale round fine in round 1 you will generally have six questions so far the pattern has been like this and 99% this time also the pattern would remain the same fine you have six questions six hours to solve fine one hour per question so you can think the level of difficulty of the question is immense i'm not kidding when you move to round 2 when you move to round 2 you have two extra questions so this becomes eight questions and these eight questions are to be attempted in 8 hours mind you all these questions are to be attempted in such manner where all the test cases are being passed if you want to qualify for the next round you need to have a very optimized approach even your approach would be judged in every piece of code right then you would have finale where you would have 10 basically questions for 10 hours and this is basically the finale round the ultimate round of this contest now if you carefully see one very important thing which people usually don't mention i'm going to mention it here is that question switching people say question switching is not allowed why question switching is not allowed a lot of places i heard it it's not like that question switching is allowed you can go ahead and switch it out but for every question the timer would keep on going on fine the timer keeps going on for every question and this problem would remain if you are proceeding ahead and ahead and not looking at any question so it is generally advisable do not switch question until you solve it it is generally advisable but it's not like that ke question switching allowed nahi it's allowed but the time would simultaneously go on for both the questions for example you started question 1 you could not solve it you started question 2 now at the same time the time for question 1 is being elapsed for example you spent half an hour on question 1 you could not solve it you switched to question 2 in this very moment question 2's time begins fine right? and in this very moment you are spending time on question 2 say you spent half an hour on question 2 now the question 1 had half an hour left for you that time is being elapsed simultaneously so if you try coming back after spending half an hour on question 2 then you try coming back question 1 would be exhausted fine so be very very clear that timer for every question will keep on going on so that's very very important fine now if i go further for round 1 i can easily say that the number of questions are 6 so definitely anything beyond 6 hours is definitely a tough round but this is a preliminary round a lot of people have never appeared in hackathons so for you i would suggest try practicing try sitting for a longer time in logic building why and the topics that i have written here if you see basics looping functions recursions arrays algorithms number series strings mathematical logics advanced arrays matrices pattern matching in all these topics only 3 to 4 topics would be covered in even in the round 1 because even round 1 is advanced here round 1 would also include very advanced questions 
But I can assure you, round one can be easily done if you know this top 150 not out questions on your fingertips. They can be easily cleared. I'm not kidding. But at least you need two revisions of these 150 questions. At least two revisions. You need to have a solid grip on these 150 questions. And I have often spoken about this 150 not out a lot. And here also this would help you out. Fine. Now I'll show you that as well. What kind of questions are there in 150 not out. So I'll go here and let's check it out. So simply I'll search 150 not out. That's it. And if you see, the first link that you would get would be a prep insta. It is a free of cost list. You go ahead, you check every question and on every topic, two pointers, stacks, sliding window, array, hashing, binary search, link list, tries, graphs, dynamic programming, even in dynamic programming, you would have 1D and 2D dynamic programming here. I'll show you. Here, you would have 1D and 2D dynamic programming separately. Fine. See, this is 1D dynamic programming questions. These are 2D dynamic programming questions. Then greedy approach problems, then intervals, everything from bit manipulation to everything is covered in detail here. You would need this list to clear round one. Let me tell you. Post this when you go further. Post this. Now I have written something interesting here. Round one, round two, round three. I have written all these. Fine. In all the rounds, these advanced topics would be appearing. So please go ahead, take a screenshot of this and pause this while, fine, and take a screenshot. Now, advanced arrays, advanced matrices, strings, stacks, queues, like lists, all the DSA topics. Along with that, advanced recursion and PMI, analysis of algorithm, backtracking, dynamic programming, greedy programming. You would have ample questions of dynamic and greedy programming. Graphs would be asked extensively. DFS, BFS, 10 knapsack problem, longest common subsequences, Dijkstra, Prim's algorithm, Kruskal's algorithm, and along with that, a few things from tries fine very important topic okay here it is written fine so tries bit manipulation heaps a lot of times very different and very unusual question on heaps are asked now how do you prepare it simple here you go to prepinsta.com either you see the previous year papers their very limited blog based information is available to you you practice dsc you practice competitive coding but how do you do that because the time is very less there is a lot of paucity of time. So how do you cover this up? I'm telling you. Do not waste your time. I'll be very, very blunt here. I always say free may be dhoom dhoom se tayari hoti hai, but not here. Fine. This is a global level competition. Here, you're not having that much time ki aap free mein apna time waste karo aur bahut sara effort dalo. You're not having that time. Here, I'll not say that it is impossible to prepare. Fine, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that it is impossible to prepare free of cost. But let me be very, very honest with you. If you're preparing for free, you would waste so much time that after clearing round one, it would be nearly difficult, if not impossible for you. Fine. So in that case, what you should do is go ahead on Prepinsta Prime. Do not waste your time a lot. TCS Code Vita course, simply search TCS Code Vita. You would have a full TCS Code Vita course here. You go here and from First topic, if you see, it is DSA plus competitive coding. Fine. The first topic, the first module in this course is DSA plus competitive coding. The very simple reason for this is so that you actually study it from the very basic. You study time complexity, space complexity, every topic from the very basic in a structured manner. And then you reach out to competitive programming, to questions which use very less lines of code, but have a greater impact. You need to have that knack of solving problems. That is very, very important. I'm not kidding. Six hours is a very long time and six questions in six hours, solving them throughout is very tough because after building three logics, the brain shuts down generally. Generally, we daily practice problems. Even then we practice maximum three to four problems. Here you would have to solve six problems in a go, even in the round one. If you talk about finale, there are 10 hours, continuously 10 questions. Fine. So you need to have this ability. You need to have a very solid grip. And how do you do that? You, if you're very bad at languages, you start from here. 
study the languages if you are bad in basic and intermediate coding study this basic and intermediate coding fine so this would help you out this is basic coding then you have intermediate coding as well you can solve all these questions once you solve all these questions this is the most important module dsa plus competitive coding this would help you out a lot fine now how do you actually enroll into this you simply click on get prime and you click on any of the subscriptions i would say that you like and you use the coupon code shukla10 okay that would work for you so here you have to type shukla10 and once you type this you would automatically have immediate discount which would be very very helpful for you if you are looking for some financial help here fine but this is not just tcs code beta enrollment this would provide you all the 200 plus courses on this website so you would have access to all the 200 plus courses that are available here and if you want to prepare for your placements for company specific tests for you have tracks here which are specifically for service based companies fine you see tracks for tcs and qt tracks for service based companies if you're somebody who's a product based enthusiast then tracks for product based company if you're somebody who's looking only for fang companies or as now they are called man companies then you can go ahead track for big four companies which is pwc ey deloitte kpmg then again it is for you for data science and analytics there is a separate track so you would have access to all these tracks all these projects and various different different technologies or cs subjects if you want to go ahead with it so all the 200 plus courses you would be getting access to them fine so you must go ahead and not waste your time and go ahead and hop on here so that at least you get the maximum benefit and you have the maximum chances of clearing this tcs code vita because this would not just provide you some prize money but also employment opportunities which you can't miss out on fine now also there is one more coupon code which you can try that is webhub max fine and this would provide you maximum discount now that's up to you you go ahead and check it out fine i don't know how much discount has been given to this coupon because my team said sir go ahead put it out put this coupon out for people and they would have the maximum discount i don't know how much discount they're giving on this but certainly a very good amount now if i move forward follow all the social media handles of prep and stuff so that you do not miss any important information that is related to you to your hirings to your placements to your contests fine and if you are wanting the link to this tcs code vita if you are having any doubt regarding this either on instagram or on whatsapp or on telegram or on discord anywhere you want go ahead just dm us just dm prep and stuff you would be automatically getting replies from our people who are just sitting and solving the doubts for each and every student they find fine so this is for you and as i always say whatever good you find in this video go ahead spread in society as far as you can keep doing good for others without any expectation good will come back to you have a wonderful day ahead bye bye